Well, Nabila Ramdani is a writer on Muslim issues and a global security analyst. She joins me now. Thanks very much, Jude, for coming in. Um, that spot right in the heart of Marrakesh there is, is a mecca for tourists. I've been in that cafe. I know lots of people who have as well. This bombing will have a devastating effect on the tourist industry, won't it? Very much so. I mean, uh, Morocco is one of those countries which relies heavily on incomes from uh, tourism. Uh, Jama al Fana is uh, at the heart of Marrakech. It attracts uh, an awful lot of tourists from across the world, and in particular from France, because of the historical uh, ties between the two countries. But the British are particularly fond of the destination as well. Uh, uh, celebrities uh, like Mick Jagger, for example, have a house there. Churchill used to go there to yeah. paint. So um, and a French president, for example, was, la was there in, uh, in, in, uh, over the Christmas uh, holiday uh, last year. So it's very much a, a tourist uh, attraction. And I'm afraid this will have a devastating effect on the economy. Mm. Uh, why was Morocco targeted by, one is assuming it's Islamic extremists and people are suggesting it's Al Qaeda? Why? Well, uh, Morocco has a, a major problem with uh, dealing with uh, uh, Islamic uh, radicalism. Uh, it has, the government has been uh, putting an awful lot of effort to try to dismantle terrorist cells. And since 2002, it's managed to uh, successfully dismantle 70 terrorist cells. Uh, Morocco has, is one of those few Arab countries which committed fully to the war on terror and is working extremely closely with America uh, to do so. And there I say since then, um, uh, Al-Qaeda has had a vendetta on Morocco precisely because uh, Morocco has handed over uh, uh, terrorist suspects to the Americans. And uh, as such, it's become uh, a very vulnerable place uh, uh, and often the target of uh, al-Qaeda. But the last explosion was some time ago, back in 2003. Indeed, in 2003, the uh, uh, suicide attacks were carried out by uh, young men from uh, very poor uh, backgrounds, uh, precisely in retaliation for Morocco's uh, cooperation in the war on terror with uh, the Americans. Mm. And interestingly, uh, according to our correspondent there, Caroline Hawley, um, it doesn't look as if this was a suicide bomber. This was a remote control detonated device. Yes, but it, it, it won't, uh, I mean, from uh, the uh, people I've uh, spoken to, I've spoken to officials, but also uh, people uh, on the ground. And um, the uh, feeling is that uh, the attack or the uh, however it was carried out has very much to do with uh, the uh, foreign policy of the West, uh, uh, especially in uh, neighboring uh, Libya at the moment. Um, the perception of the people in Morocco is that it has a lot to do with the military ca action carried out in, in Libya, especially as the countries leading the way are uh, France, Britain, and to a certain extent uh, the uh, US. Sure, and of course lots of tourists from France, Britain, and the US go to Marrakesh in the summer. Okay, Nabila Ramdani, it's good to talk to you. Thanks for coming in.